Alright, hello and welcome to episode one of Mist Over. So this game released uh, like by date yesterday, but I'm in Australia, so a few hours ago it may be, because fucking yesterday for me is like the morning of the same day for America, but anyway. Uh, fucking 12 hours, 20, almost 24 hour time difference, it's ridiculous. Anyway, um... I, I, this game is probably the first game I've ever pre-ordered. Like, I actually saw this game and went, fuck it, I'll, um, I'll buy it now and play it when it comes out, having no idea when it was going to come out. But, um, let's, let's get started. Um, right, this is a controller game. I played the demo, because uh, it was out when I, um, when I bought the game. And I figured uh, I'll, I'll make some YouTube videos on it. Uh... So we'll see how well things come along, as, uh, it is definitely a controller game, because shit's fucking, like, the key bindings are just weird and over the place. Uh, recommend for those who are new, um, to the game, the clock ticks slowly and monsters are weak. Uh, formations are less likely to be disturbed by sneak attacks. Uh, recommended for those who are familiar with the game and... Of the, uh, for, with games of this genre, the clock ticks at normal speed and monsters have average strength. Formations can be disturbed by sneak attacks. Recommended for those with high skill in uh, at strategy games, the clock ticks a little faster and monsters are stronger. Uh, formations are likely to be disturbed by sneak attacks. Alright, well I'm going to go with normal. I mean, probably a bad idea considering that I, I've never really played this sort of RTS, but... I mean, not RTS, um, turn-based game. But the demo didn't seem that hard. Um... Atta, a small kingdom on the edge, uh, on the edge of the uh, continuous, was once uh, plagued by uh, by the threat of destruction. Uh, when a massive vortex appeared nearby, the pillars of despair, as it came to be called, nearly brought end to the uh, of the world. It all started a few years ago, um, ago when a thick mist emerged from the vortex, began uh, sweeping across the land. Uh, uh, from its depths emerged uh, tremendous creatures known as espers. Uh, the mist slowly ate away at the land, uh, leaving a trail of destruction in its wake. While the espers destroyed everything in their path, many kingdoms lay in ruin, countless lives were lost. Okay. Just. Uh, yeah, that was something I missed because, again, I tend not to start recording until I actually get to the loading screen, but this had this, like, amazing cinematic entrance that was sort of, like, I think was summing this up as, like, a little video. But, uh, j um, just when all hope was lost, uh, everyone suddenly s stopped, the mist no longer spread, and they uh, escaped. Espers crawl back into the, um, impenetrable depths. Okay. Nevertheless, people feared that the danger would return, convincing that um, the cause of the horror lay inside the vortex. People started volunteering, uh, venturing into the mist, hoping to unravel its mysteries. Let's just turn that down because this music is loud. Uh, before uh, long, an um, official expedition corp was founded to explore the vortex. They soon discovered... It was a passage to a world existing in a different dimension. Uh, existing in different dimensions. To gather better intelligence, the Expedition Corp recruited more members. Uh, people from far and wide ventured to Arta for wealth, glory, and whatever else th their heart desired. Can we, can we get into the game? You come to your senses, uh, your head throbbing, okay? In front of you stands uh, a forest blackened in mist, uh, full of mystery, um, eminence, uh, an aura of death. Okay, how do you... <laughs> how did you get there? You're trying to remember. But you rip from your thoughts when you suddenly hear dash, um, something dashing through the thick forest coming straight at you. <gasps> Spooky! Spooky. Okay. And then you see them hideous monsters. They all look um, like oversized beetles. Okay. Not really, but okay. Uh, these disgusting creatures let out a re uh, wretched shriek as they, um, if they're about to attack at any moment. Okay. Uh, they're definitely no uh, foes, not friends. 
Uh, looks like they need. Uh, you need to fight them. Okay. So what we will do is we will go skill and we will attack. So these ones take mana. So this is this is more or less. I'm assuming the tutorial. Um, I sort of understand it because again I played the demo and the demo had the tutorial. So the way it works is you have a basic attack that costs nothing, can only hit the first six. Uh, I pick one of the first six, and can only be used when you're in the front two of the columns. It's, it's hard to do this without a mouse. Can I actually get my mouse on screen? No. Anyway, then you have these kinds of attacks, which are generally stronger. Like this inflicts 100% of damage. This inflicts 200% of damage to one enemy. Um, you move forward one tile, give yourself um, a 25% collect power buff. But this takes mana, and when you run out of mana, you've got to not act for a turn. Like, you've actually got to uh, block, and that will regain mana. And you get, a, you get a chance to block enemy attacks. So you can't just use your strongest attacks, and kind of annoyingly, it's not like you could just use weak attacks to recharge. You have to actually actively not attack for a while. Uh, resolve all store power, you must uh, move backwards one tower. So... This works in the back two slots, this works in the front two slots, so it's sort of like a flick back and forth. But anyway, let's attack uh, this person. Oh, he was guarded apparently. Um, and now he gets a buff. I get a deep buff? Is that? Oh no, it's the gathering power thing, but now I do get a deep buff in bleeding. Uh, don't want to use your pickup now. Um, it's still a bit loud. Uh, skills. This one's a healer, so not much use here healing at the moment, so we will attack you. Okay. So then you use you, and we go, um, Divine Armor, which can be used in any slot, gives you a shield, um, with HP equal to 30% of your maximum HP. So, I mean, let's shield up. Uh, I, I don't like how, um, a lot of the things like the shield only last for so many turns that I think there should be a damage based thing, but whatever. But you can also make that front shield person uh, get marked, which means that they're more likely to get attacked. Also, that, I, I can't tell how to have the music. Either. I can turn the music all the way off and it won't affect the video um, quality, but I'm just hoping that you can hear me over it because, again, like I'm basing this mostly on previous games I've played where it's just like whatever the default music is. So hopefully this video I'm not drowned out entirely by the music in the game. The uh, levels look about right, so fucking who knows. Uh, so we want to probably use Love Restore 200%. And this is a party heal which only restores 80%. It's 200%. Okay. We use you. And we use this. Uh, chance of being attacked increased by 25 uh, by 70%, but you gain defense of 70%. So 70% more likely to be hit, but you're also not likely to um, but you'll, you you take less damage okay I think we crit I, I have no idea we're also bleeding which is kind of annoying but anyway okay, okay so that's that's because I had that other buff maybe also fuck are they doing a lot of damage you are almost dead uh, um, so we can use you. Shield Bash. Inflicts damage equal to 150% attack on an enemy, 50% chance to push the enemy back on tile. Okay, well, I mean, I'm just gonna use Holy Spite. Okay, so these guys seem to have um, thorns, so if I hit them, they hit. I take damage. Uh, please use heal on you. Da -da -da -da. Okay, you get to use this attack. You, and you missed. At least you didn't take fucking damage when you missed, because fuck is that annoying when games do that. Oh, with thorns, it's like, hey, you, you attack so you take damage, instead of, you know, you hit so you take damage. Uh, so, uh, we can go one more time with that shield. And fucking bleeding again. Okay, um... Hopefully we can, uh, we can survive this first fight, because, uh... It'd be really embarrassing if I fuck this up. Okay. 
I mean, it's, it's going fairly well. And of course, it, it, the, it, you get attacked when you're doing your fucking shield up. Uh, probably better off with a party heal. Fuck that. That, just... that was something I found out in the fucking um, demo. Is I do not like using that healer. The, the fucking is just disturbs me to no end. Okay, getting some more shield. And then we will hide. Uh, you uh, become unable to attack uh, by unattackable using hide. Using another skill, hide yourself gives it. Looks like. Pa uh. Okay, wait. Uh, another s using another skill disables hide. Okay, so it makes you more, more powerful. But secret action. Uh, you move forward one tile. Give yourself. 25% uh, collect power buff, give yourself a 25 crit. Okay, uh, so I mean, just, just attack it. So, okay, they're reflecting damage. Okay, so we get to probably just party heal again. <sighs> Alright, um. So we just do this, so we do a holy smite and go. Ha! And you get to attack. And who are you gonna attack? Nothing. Oh, you just recharging your reflect. Um, I mean, we should probably put you on block. Just to uh, charge up some mana, like so. And then we get you, and we can do a normal attack. So, if I remember, um, mana recharges over time as you move around the map, like when, the, when you're on a map screen. But it sort of, it carries over through through plays. Um, after feeding monsters you feel exhausted, but there is no time to rest. More are coming. Oh fuck no. <laughs> we almost used all our mana on that one. Um, enemies continue to surge forth from the mist so many that you, uh, you don't stand a chance. You, uh, your eyes gloss over. Uh, is this the end? Okay, suddenly a group of armed men appear. They attack the monsters with their swords and spears. Uh, reinvigorated, you rush forward to fight alongside them, and in a matter of uh, moments, all the monsters lay slain and di are dying. Are you hurt? One of the uh, one of your saviors, perhaps the leader, steps forward. Uh, why would uh, why were you wandering in these lands? Uh, you're trying to answer um, his question, but uh, but struggle. You realize that part of your memory is missing. What? You don't remember why you are here? Uh, hmm. You must be another one of the uh, of the missing ones. Okay, we ran into them from time to time. People who, without memories, uh, wander blindly in the mist. Uh, we call them the missing ones. The memory loss is un. Uh, predictable. Different people seem to forget different things. You, for example, cannot recall why you are even here. Let's go back to town first. It's too dangerous to stay here. Um, stay out here in the mist. Follow me. We'll talk uh, once it's safe. Okay. Uh, uh, um, at his words, uh, is, uh, Savior starts getting ready to move out. You decide it's best to accompany them for now. You leave the vortex and board a small boat. Uh, only after rowing for quite some time, you reach um, you reach a quaint f ferry. Okay. Um, a depressing city stands behind you, uh, before your feet, uh, um, as it, in its dist as in the distance you see an enormous vortex. Okay. Welcome to Artaba. Um, Arta? Arta. This is, a, uh, is the place the Expedition Corp calls home. It would be a good idea to meet Duke Herich first. He is currently in charge of running Arta's affairs. Okay. I mean, fun. We have 10,000 gold. Uh, so we have the peer or the office? Okay. Office. I'm assuming there's more story. You arrive um, at the gloomy mansion. Uh, your escort calls for somebody, and an uh, elegant woman drives out of the entrance. Uh, your escort uh, explains the situation to her. She nods and uh, then smiles at you. It's such a pleasure to meet 
<laughs> Make your acquaintance. You may call me Stella. I am Duke uh, Hinrich's assistant. Uh, His Grace is inside. Come, uh, come with this way. Stella leads you to a room at the top of a uh, resident at the residence. Although um, it's very dark inside, you are able to make out the figure of a nobleman. Look, um, a noble-looking young man. Yeah. Henry, welcome to my residence, warrior. Okay. Uh, my name is Henrich. I am the heir of the Wellenstein, uh, Wellenstein family. The, the ancient book of prophecies has been in my family's care for generations. We believe it contains the key to saving our world from destruction, so I am doing my best to decipher its contents. <sighs> Fucking reading. Um, I'm told you are the missing ones. Uh, are one of the missing ones. Um, do you remember anything at all? Your memory stops short like a, a thread that's just being cut in half. It's not... Okay. Um, the mist is pure evil, corrupting human memories. The longer you experience... Um, Exposed to it, the more you will forget. Um, well, nothing can be done for now. How about you join the Expedition Corp until your memory returns? Okay. It will be difficult since you don't remember much, but in, um, in return, for your services, we'll help you get your memory back. Ugh, fuck me. Mm -hmm. Welcome. It's good to see you. Uh, just fucking... That's not really the response that I was expecting. It's halfway through a conversation. Welcome, it's good to see you. Anyway, I'm just going to accept the request. First steps to um, of the first steps of the expedition. First steps of the expedition. Explore every percent of the mist, you forest, and return. Um, the uh, world covered with mist from the whirlwind is a dangerous place. The misty forest is the um, only location where an inexperienced explorer. Um, Team should uh, stand a chance, investigate the area, and return. Only then will the corpse crew be officially accepted. Um, request exploration area, dense forest. Okay. First steps. Will you accept this request? Uh, what happens if I say no? <laughs> like, no. Back. Um, uh, report results. Accept quest. Talk. Uh, welcome, please come in. The Duke, uh, I am Duke. Uh, Advisor Teller. Uh, I um, have served the family for generations. Okay, so you're you're immortal then? Oh, I don't fucking know. Uh, now, um, now I help uh, His Grace with all of his public affairs at the moment. The um, most important task for His com um, commending the Expedition Corps. Uh, therefore. <laughs> Helping you is also one of my duties. If you need anything, just let me know. Uh, I will be here for you when you need me. Okay. Um, interesting. So I'm, I'm assuming this is going to start a mission. So I'm going to call this episode 0.5, uh, The Story. And uh, we'll start that mission next episode. Which, I mean, we'll probably come out like however long it takes to upload after this one because plus the length of the next one because I'm going to start doing this now but yeah, yeah, you don't even know um, <laughs> so like, comment, subscribe um, for hopefully to, to, to see these adventures uh, the actual game you know because I spent fucking like 20 minutes reading in this one but you know uh, yeah, like, comment, subscribe share the video it'll help a lot because my channel is tiny thank you